I'm Gary, the survival expert. Be careful, man. It's my skills that keep me alive in even the harshest conditions. And I'm Wu, the car guy. I can go anywhere with my car. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, drive it! We joke around a lot. Bit of fun, bit of laughter, you should be able to survive. Tell you what, if we can get through that, we can get through anything. Stop! But life was hanging in Gary's hands. Keep it going, keep it going. I need to take off the doors, and I'll start waterproofing. Vaseline, some tape, and a surgical glove. Come on! The left, the left, the left! One Car Too Far, a new series premieres Wednesday, 26th of September on Discovery Channel. Bill and Gary are closing in on their target, hidden somewhere on an unforgiving glacier. Look what this looks like, the moon. Looks like Mars. It's a huge block of ice crisscrossed by crevasses and surrounded by active volcanoes. It's going to be just solid ice. It's almost going to be impossible to drive because it's going to be so slippery. It's just a playground for the devil. It's no place for anyone to drive. But that's the challenge confronting Bill and Gary. They've got just three days to drive the car to civilization. In this hostile place, the car may be the only thing that keeps them alive. Woohoo! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Look at the ice coming off the wheels. It's one giant block of ice with a thin layer of snow. So when you hit your brakes, you're going to keep sliding. We'll speed up now, Bill, can't you? Uh, we're we're starting to hit a slope right now. We don't want to go too fast. You hear it crunching. Oh, stop, stop, stop! Wow. We hit the first crevasse. I was frozen, where this crack could actually swallow your car whole. You're down 100, 200 meters, and you're stuck. No one to help you out. You're dead. Wow, that is crazy. We use those rear seat belts as a harness. <sighs> Former Special Forces veteran Gary hatches a plan to get them across the danger zone. Gary's going to make a harness to secure himself to the car. Make sure my family jewels are OK. That's fine. I'm happy now to climb any mountain with that. That's, um, that's pretty safe. We're going to use the car as an anchor. Gary's going to walk ahead, probe the ground, and he's going to be like a little scout in front to let me know where all the mines are or all the danger spots are. Slow down. Slow down, Bill. Bill is really on edge. I'm having to coax him across this because if he actually realizes how wide and dangerous these are, he won't make it. I have to get an eye line with him, beckoning him forward like this. The crevasses we were up against, there was three types. We had the parallel one, which just goes straight down. We had a wedge, and then we had the wine bottle, where it was a small hole at the top, and then it was just cavernous underneath. Oh! Oh! Gary, you okay? 